Climb on out. Climb on out, boy. Let's get it. 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 Swing two, I just spike strip him at carry and slam, he hits a strip. Okay. We got this SUV pulling a trailer here in front of us. Had a lane violation on a couple blocks back. We're gonna go ahead and stop him and see what's going on with it. Looks like this guy doesn't want to stop for me. Looks like he's going to keep going. 321. 321. I've got an SUV pulling a trailer. It's failing to yield to me. Possible DWI. He may be blocked in here. Yeah, he's coming in here. Oh, he's taking off on us again. Watch out. We're gonna kind of hang back from him a little bit. He's got that trailer on. We don't want it to come unhitched on us. 320 and 321, did you even attempt to stop him? He took off when I got behind him. I lit him up. I'm pretty confident he knew I was behind him. Uh, he's got possible DWI. We authorized to pursue him. 329, 320, he's running about 80 down Atlantic. He is all over the road. We've got a canine in the pursuit now here in front of us. He'll give us a little help if this turns into a foot pursuit. There's two Hispanic males. Two Hispanic male occupants. They wrecked out. Three, 321, we've got one trapped in the car. Climb on out. Climb on out, boy. Climb on out. Let's go. Climb on out. Let's go. Jump off there. Let's go. Get on down. Come on. I can't see. Jump down. 321 negative. They've got one in custody. We're getting the other one out of the car. He's responsive, moving. Get up away from this thing. Okay. Let's go. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get your hands behind your back. 321, 320. Go ahead. We've got both in custody. Gonna We're going to need an ambulance for one head injury, in slight back. laceration. Both are conscious, alert. How many were in the car with you? We're also going to huh? need a okay. CU for a power pole that's been split. Were you driving? No. Why was he running? Why was he running? What's your name, man? Huh? You got your ID on you, Mike? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Mike, was it just the two of you in that thing? We two, yeah. You believe so, or you're sure? This guy up here, they deployed the canine on him. We're going to check out, see what's going on with him. He ran from the scene. Did this guy get bit by the canine? Yeah, he did. OK. We've got an ambulance coming for him. Did you see him bail out? Yeah, I saw him bail out. He, or, uh, Corporal Curley said that he was running across the field, pointed. Okay. He fell down when he came up. Looked like he was reaching in the front of his waistband, so I just didn't say nothing. I just deployed the dog okay. to stop him at that point, which he did, and apprehended him and held him right here until we could come over. And Of course, then he's still fighting us. You know, this is the first pursuit I've ever been in uh, with a vehicle pulling a trailer. I don't know how he thought he could get away with a flatbed, two-axle trailer behind him, but he gave it a shot. These other officers found this. Uh, it looks like when they wrecked out, they either threw this out the window or it came out. Uh, just a metal magazine clip and some 9 millimeter rounds scattered down the road. Either they were trying to get rid of the gun whenever they wrecked out, or it came out whenever the vehicle flipped, one of the two. Well, Stewart was just walking this fence line down here, and it looks like this is going to be the gun. I don't know if they threw it out or if it came out in the wreckage. It looks like this is probably right where they went in, wasn't it, Curly? They were, they were rolling. No, they went in up there. 
They were, they were rolling at this point. From a possible DWI, it's turned into a weapons violation with a handgun and several rounds being recovered. Uh, felony dope warrants. So I imagine all that combines the reason why they were running from us. We're en route to uh, the east side to assist the units behind a stolen plates on a vehicle. The vehicle is failing to yield. You want sticks? No, there's sticks out at steel somewhere. He's going to come this way, bro. He's yeah, going to come this I, way. I know. I'm... I can get sticks. There's, there's sticks out already somewhere. Sticks are right there. Josh has got sticks. Get him out, Josh. Get him out. Get him out. Get out of the way, Josh. Get out of the way. Let's see what he does. He's going to go straight. There's a car right here. Got him. Positive contact with the Got a car. Go, 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 go. Positive contact with the sticks. Oh, Ooh, he's losing his tire. Yep. There's going to be a foot chase here. He's going to go straight. Pit him, pit him. He's going into the apartment complex. Appreciate what's on approaching the uh, CW extension. Or are you actually in the North Cape Village apartments now? Get, Get up apartment. on him. You ready? You ready? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Stop fighting us. Stop resisting. I got cuffs. Stop fighting with us. Stop resisting. Stop fighting. Get it, get it, get it. Get him under. Let me trust me. All right, don't move, you understand? Stand up. Stand up. You guys got him? We're resisting. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Bring him here back. Look, my belt's sunk in. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, man. Oh, no. Is there anybody else? Right here. Are you going to get it? Stop resisting. I'm not. Mom? My arm is popping up, suck it, Joe. Have a seat, please. Watch your head. My arm. Thank you. You OK? Are you OK? <sighs> Sit up for me. Are you OK? Are you going to be OK? My hands. OK. I'm going to take care of that in just a second, OK? I'm going to get some medical aid to look at you, all right? So make sure you're OK. So give me a few seconds, OK? I'll be back with you. Point in my front pocket. He's got a what? His front pocket? Needle. Point. Needle? Just letting you know. Yep, there it is. Is that the only needle, man? Yeah. Anything in it? We had one of the guys on uh, the east side got in a little chase with it, this truck that has stolen plates on it. They haven't figured out yet if the truck itself is stolen. The driver they have in custody right down there. And then the two other passengers, one is here and then one is uh, just down the road here. OK, you were obviously the center uh, passenger in the car. Tell me, tell me what was going on. Um, they picked me up from my mom's house. I didn't know the driver, but my friend came and picked me up. And we walked to the car, and they said that there was a cop that followed them and turned their lights on. And uh, I got the car, and one of them outside the car and got in the car and we were started to drive away and the cop turned his headlights on and when he turned his headlights on he the driver freaked out just jumped out of the car while it was rolling still it just jumped out of the car okay so you didn't know the car was stolen then i had no idea all right thanks well the vehicle came back stolen the plates on it were stolen bike strips were deployed and they did their job it brought this chase to a quick end it's not stopping Looks like he was making a bunch of furtive movements. Just left a possible drug house. Got a unit following a vehicle that's not stopping. Uh, left a drug house. He's dumping something outside the window. Right here at Brandeski. It looks like cocaine. White powered substance. Going to be in cost doors. Speed 50 miles an hour. So far, going on, sir. Looks like he was a baggie of cocaine. Charlie 321. I'm number two unit. 
Uh, we're pulling in uh, over here by the Playroom Lounge in the parking lot. Playroom Lounge. Going west on Sunnybrook. Speeds are down to about 40 now. Coming up on Evelyn, going uh, northbound on Evelyn. Looks like he's going to stop. Lose your head! Lose your head! Throw the keys out of the car now! Open the door with your left hand. Put your hands up. Get out of the car. Put your hands up. Don't face me. Turn around. Turn around. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Get down the ground. I got him. Put your hands behind your back, bud. Put your hands behind your back. back. Behind your back. Somebody clear the car. Clear the car, someone. You good? OK, roll him over onto his butt, and we'll sit him up. Roll over, bud. OK, we're going to lift you up. Get your feet underneath okay. you on three. One, two, three, up. There you go. Can I have my hat? We'll get it. Come on. Hey, what? Uh, my wallet, my wallet, my wallet, my okay, wallet. OK, we'll get it. We'll get it. Come on hey, over here. we got here. a camera right now? Come on. Right right here, bud. What, what's going on, man? Why are you running from the police? I was, I was nervous, man. I, I see him chasing after me. I didn't know what was going on. OK. Did you throw something out of your car? No, sir. Yeah, because the officer that was chasing you, he put it out over the radio, man. He, he said he, he saw you throw something out of the car. No, sir, I'm doing that at the car. Okay, is there anything in the car that we should be concerned about? No, sir. You have any drugs, any no, weapons? Sir. No, sir. Within the car. Okay. Where were you coming from? A friend of mine right there on uh, Ethel Street. What's your friend's name? Uh, JD. JD? How well you know JD? I just, about a couple of weeks. Okay. A couple of weeks. Did you get out of the car and go into the house? Uh, he wasn't there. He wasn't there? OK. So you didn't, JD didn't give you anything, or nobody gave you anything from the house? No, sir. OK. Go ahead and have a seat, bud. Have a seat. Watch your head. The house you were at, the officer that works that beat, he suspects there's some drug dealing going on, man. Were you there to buy dope? No, sir. Yeah, that's why he was watching you, man, because you pulled up in front of that house. Tonight, man, you're being charged with a felony. When you run from the police in the car, that's a felony offense in the state of Texas. OK? All right. Hey, Triple. All right, man. Good luck to you. Can I get my cell phone? We'll get it. You just saw that one bag come out? Well, there was two times when he started messing around. Started throwing Simple. something out the window? Yeah, it was on the cardinal. Um, I guess near Brandeski is where he started crushing. He started, he started grabbing and stuff, making furtive movements. I'll put that over the radio. And then, uh, and then there at McCarl and Brandeski, he started, he started crushing something, and I, all this powder was coming out. Well, he's got some white stuff on his face, but let me ask him. Hey, Ricky, man, what, what, what's this white stuff on your face here, man? My face was on concrete just then. But it's like white, man. It... My face was on concrete okay. just then. Let, let me ask you a question, Ricky, man, straight up. Were you at that house buying dope? No, man, I'm telling you, I wasn't, man. I'm not to know he didn't answer, though. He, I told you he wasn't there. What did he throw out the window? I didn't throw anything out the window, officer. OK, well, that officer right there, man, I know him personally. He doesn't he doesn't tell lies, man. He said you threw something out the window, like some powdery stuff. I didn't throw anything out the window, officer. That wouldn't be any of that powder that's on your face right there? My face hit the ground, so. OK. It looks like some officers have recovered what we believe he tossed out the window here. What do y'all have? Uh, it's what they recovered over there. Officer Oliver recovered. That's about over it. there on McArdle. What was it? Just a loose powder? Uh, it was actually crushed by the traffic. OK. He obviously destroyed the packaging and hoped it would blow away in the wind. But thanks to some, uh, some good work by the officers here, they were able to recover some of it. So uh, probably be able to uh, put the uh, possession of controlled substance charge on them as well. <laughs> Up ahead uh, in front of us, we just had a red motorcycle go around two cars that were stopped at the red light. He went into oncoming traffic and went westbound. Uh, we're going to see if we can attempt to catch up to him. Here he goes. Plate's going to be call personalized. Edward. Uh, Ida Ocean Nora, he just did Get down! Put your hands behind your back! Let's see your hands! Let's see your hands! Met 14, we have the subject detained. You can roll meds to Arrow and Grove. 
And we need another unit to shut down traffic We're in the middle of the street. <coughs> Easy out. Is he out? He's away. He's Is away. he? You're awake? Get this backpack off. Okay, oh, he's drunk, dude. I can smell the alcohol. I'm away. Okay. I'm away. I'm away. Here. Are you injured? I'm away. I'm away. Are you injured? No. What are you running for? Watch out. What's your name? Damn. <clears throat> Why you run, man? What are you doing? Why would you do that? I didn't realize I was running. You ran two red lights. You passed three cars here trying to get away from us. We had our lights and siren on for over a mile. And then you ran this red, lock, red light, and you crashed as a result of it. Why? How much you had to drink tonight? Probably quite a bit. Quite a bit? We, uh... Smell it on you. We're at Baker and Arrow. Stopped at the red light behind two cars. The bike's here. He goes around all the cars, blows the red light westbound. We go straight out, lights and siren. He's right in front of us, takes off. Slows down for the dip, red light, facing another red light. Makes a turn, loses it from underneath, crashes, and that's where he's at. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Consider yourself a good rider? I do, but you're responsible. Why is that? Because you've been drinking? Yeah. I should have known better. Just a mistake. Is that your bike, man? Yes, sir. It's a nice bike. A Prilla is a nice bike. Actually, well, it's actually a good thing you guys actually did what you did. Yeah. What, what, got, what got into you? I mean, we were, saw you at the light right there. Oh, you went around the car, ran the red. It wasn't the intention. It was just... I mean, what were you thinking? You, you're lucky to be standing here right now, you know that? All it would have taken was a wrong turn, and you would have been killed. It wasn't the intention. Yeah. It was just... Is it just, I mean, is it the alcohol driving, or I mean, what was it? I don't understand. But we're just glad you didn't kill yourself or anybody else. I appreciate but, uh, that you're here. Yeah. Well, what I did was, was what I did, and it's like... You made a bad decision. But lucky you're alive to talk about it, right? Right? Thanks, guys. All right. Okay, yeah. we're going to do a preliminary alcohol screening test, though. Okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. All you got to do is sew your lips on here, take a deep breath, and blow. I'll tell you when to start, I'll tell you when to stop. Yes, sir. <laughs> deep breath. Seal, blow. Good. You want to sit back down so you don't fall? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, if I apologize, <laughs> it's embarrassing right off the bat, but. I'm just glad you didn't kill yourself. Uh, in an intersection, I would have been taking more, but. What's that say right there? Really, really high amount. What's that say? 0.219. Yeah. You're about two and a half times the legal limit. Okay. You're under arrest for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Go ahead and stand up. I'm glad he slowed down to take that turn. We've got a couple of officers that are behind an occupied stolen vehicle right now. They're going to be turning, coming northbound on Lamb. We're going to go ahead and try to get up here to the intersection, be in position to uh, intercept the vehicle with the bike strips if possible if he decides to take off. Vehicle just blew the light at Lamb and Owens. Okay, guys, have to see. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be setting up spike strips. We've got a stolen car. Two, I just spike stripped him at Carey and Lambs. He hit the strips. Okay, we just stopped, stick the vehicle. We're going to be going northbound now on Lamb from Carey. Suspect still fleeing. I got his tires. Got the vehicle, Crystal Peak. He went north. Pinion Peak. 
north, Pinion Peak. That's for him if he's out of the vehicle. On your face now. Put your hands on top of your head, cross your feet, bring it up to your butt. Stand up. Roll over. Roll over. Roll. Roll. Sit up. Stand. How many were in there? Four. Patrol one, Frank two, suspect states there's still two more outstanding. Stand up. Where'd they go? They're in that one. Frank two, my female here says they continued on eastbound down Crystal Peak on foot. Walk this way. Yes, sir. Yes, Sounds like possibly canine's got the uh, guys hiding underneath the car down here at the end of the street right now. What was he saying when you were flying down the street? He was trying to get away. Well, he wasn't saying, he wasn't anything? saying anything? at all. No, he didn't well, say we anything yelling. at all. The girl, well, her and me were just caught and we were just like, hey, you know. You almost killed me, man. You know that, right? You're just high on the meth? You almost hit my car. What's up? Bad choice, all right? We're gonna step over here. He's gonna take a couple pictures of you, okay? Just turn face this way. He admitted to me that he uses methamphetamines. This part of the methamphetamine pipe we found in his pocket. It's gonna be the residue from the methamphetamine. This end sharp, possibly got broken when he was hiding on us. Uh, usually there's a ball end on the end that they put the methamphetamine inside. You know why we stopped you tonight? Possession of a stolen vehicle. Possession of a stolen vehicle. How'd you know the vehicle was stolen? When he's supposed to they're supposed to be pulling over. Uh huh. He took off. He took off. Yeah. What What did he say when he took off? Nothing. Nothing. What What happened once you guys hit the spike strips? The tires. Tires. What happened to tires? The tires came off. No, the tires came off. Yeah, was it smoking yeah. pretty bad? Yeah. Nasty. Like fire. Like it was on fire. Yeah. Okay. So what happened? Then you came around the corner here and parked the car, and then what happened? We all started running. You got on and started running because you knew it was stolen? OK, these are our spike strips. We deploy them if it looks like a vehicle's not going to stop. The uh, vehicle runs over them, and then it just slowly defates their tires so that whoever's driving the car will have a chance to slow down and safely stop the car. Obviously, you can see it's very effective. It let the air out, but then the uh, guy stole the vehicle, continued to drive with the uh, front tire here, totally shredded out. There's nothing left. but. Uh, Luckily tonight, he didn't hit anybody, he didn't kill anybody. Right now we're in pursuit of an assault with a deadly weapon suspect. We monitored the Sacramento Police Department who put out a call of a guy that assaulted somebody with a pole. We found the suspect vehicle on the freeway and now we're in pursuit of it. Oh, they did, I smell rubber. I smell rubber, okay. I think it did work. Or... Yeah, he may have hit a tax strip. So we, uh, the suspect that we've been chasing may have hit one of the spike strips that one of the uh, agencies put out. That's all right. It's just a cone. Yeah, he did. His front right tire and back rear tires out. 6'6 six, six David. His tires are coming apart. This should be terminating here really soon. We're coming up to, I think, Pedrick Road. 6'6 six, six, David related CHP that his tires have already come apart. We're starting to pick up some CHP units. They haven't caught up yet, but they're uh, close. He's going on three good tires and one bad one. We're westbound 80. Speeds are down to 80. We're passing Pedrick. We're just waiting for his tires to come apart and him to just slow down to the point where we can uh, use the uh, pursuit immobilization technique where we spin him out to get him to stop this pursuit. 6 6 David, we've handed the pursuit off to CHP. So right now we've uh, handed the pursuit off to CHP. 6 6 David, we're slowing down to 60. Looks like this is going to be terminating here really soon. We're at Pitt School Road. 66 David, we're down to 50, still westbound on 80. CHP is going to do it, do the pursuit move. Okay. Come on, easy. Yeah. I got 
and getting the rifle. Get out of the car with your hands up! Here, I'll take it. Step out of the car! Face forward! Face forward! Lift your jacket up! I got it. I got it. Okay, unless your face. Take it off. Take it off. Just take it off and set it on the ground. Turn around. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Walk backwards right now. Walk backwards. Keep okay. walking. Keep walking. Bring him over here, Mike. Keep walking. Stop. OK. It's all good. Scared. That's it. Why'd you run for like 50 miles? Sir, I didn't, I didn't run for 50 miles. I just got scared. What were you doing when the cops were behind you? What were you thinking? I was scared. Of what? What are you scared of? Are you on parole? I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go to jail. Are you on parole or probation? I'm on parole, sir. Okay. Have you ever been involved in a police pursuit before? No, sir. Is it the first time? It's crazy, huh? Scary. That's some scary stuff. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. I'm just glad you didn't mash into anybody. I didn't hurt myself or I didn't hurt no one. Yeah. I'm glad that too. That was good. And at least your car didn't get jacked up at all either. Yeah, my girl, she actually really needs that, man. She's like, that? Ladies car? Yeah. We well, just had, we, well, we actually bought it. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It has like a little paint when they did the spin maneuver on you. Okay. So it's not it's not all jacked up. Hey, do us a favor. Sure. Never run from the cops yeah, again. Yeah, next time, just don't run from the cop. It's still okay. scary. Okay. All right. All right, man. Good luck. Watch your feet. Over there at one of the motels off of Matsy, him and his girl got into a disagreement okay. because he was wanting her to go out and prostitute and she wasn't willing to do it. So he actually took an ashtray and smashed her face in and she's got some bleeding and cuts. Oh, he caused some face. injuries to her? Yeah. Now I heard also he's wanted for a robbery? Yeah, part of that is uh, he took her cell phone. Okay. So yeah, so the, the 245, you saw with the deadly weapon and then the taking of the cell phone. Okay. They had the spike strips out on the freeway. It looks like he only got one of them. Uh, one of his tires, the uh, right front. Uh, had he not got this tire, that we'd be still driving For sure. you know, on the way to the Bay Area. Yeah, and and he's still in pursuit of this guy. He didn't get hurt, and he didn't get us either, so that's great. Yeah, so he's going to jail for violating his parole and uh, the pursuit, and then whatever the Sacramento Police Department books him on for the suspected robbery and assault with a deadly weapon.